Hmm. There we go. Does get pretty loud. Got the audio turned down a bit. I think I can also just turn the music down a bit in the game. Yeah, that's not too bad. Is this? Oh! The visual isn't coming through. That's fun. We might have had issues with this last time. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see what's happening. He was reading the uh, capture card info. I was doing some recording for the stream, and I didn't close Streamlabs from when I unplugged it. Cool. All right. Let me know if the music is too loud. The game should be okay. Is it weird from the test build? If it's weird from the test build, I am just going to... Oh! Oh, I see, it is because... Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna close the game then and uh, revert the test build. I wanna play with my stuff and my unlocks. I have not done a Death Road to Canada test build yet, so that makes sense. I'm just gonna go back to none. Let it revert its own update, and boom. Dark would I play on the testing branch, because it uh, has better performance than the regular one. Yeah, okay, good. Settings are the same. Okay. We'll start and then okay. So I wanted to do today. Yeah, we gotta do marathon mode. Ah, I see. Marathon mode. Thirty days rather than fifteen. Uh, zombie amount starts off 50% higher than normal and eventually goes to double. Yeah, it's freaking pretty hard. Bandits are being cruel, whatever. And the other one would be the OPP mode. Yeah, pick any special character you want. If I triple the default zombie amount, bandits are more cruel. Yeah. But today I want to do a marathon. Alright, let's get into it. The reason I always take Jake is I have him set up as a martial artist, so you always have a buddy who can fight with you without needing any of the good weapons. 
got Sarah's a bit more fitness leaning. Might start with a signature weapon. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played. And... Oh, Charisma. Yeah, yeah. That can let you do some nice stuff. Alright, first stop, let's do... Let's do the hotel. Lots of rooms. Oh, yeah. Signature weapon is the sturdy machete. So, can equip other things, but always has to have that as a default slot. Which is fine. Good wits and attitude. Smashing and fighting, and we'll start clearing. Alright. Start left to. Ooh, good amount of rooms. Remember always that food is the currency in Death Road to Canada, as well as, you know, being food. So if you get lots of food, you can buy some cool overpowered items and stuff from shops. Always make sure to check the toilets in case you get a toilet genie, which somebody mentioned, um, I think the last time I was playing this, which would have been last Spooktober, um... You can actually check the amount of toilets you need to open still for the, your next toilet journey in your stats. Ooh, gun. I still haven't ever checked that out, and I, I think you can't do it when you're in-game. You have to like go through the main menu or something? I don't know. Ooh, thank you. Like there's a fair number in that room. Oh, it's a kitchen. We like those. That's where food is. That's where food lives. This is where cars live. Get you one. It's like my favorite part of Borderlands. Scooter is his name? I played through all of Borderlands 1 with a friend. And some of Borderlands 2 by myself. And then... A little bit of Tales from the Borderlands, and nothing else. That was a decent game, but... Mainly because I, the friend I played with knew where to go and kept track of that. I just followed along and shot things. It was nice not thinking about it. Just going set piece to set piece. Alright, but I need you to take that. I wish you hadn't taken the ammo for it, but what can you do? He won't use it because he knows Kung Fu. Well, that's okay. I can hold on to things for us. I think that's it. Yep. Good first stop. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Three guns, too. Let's get some shooting practice. My cans! My precious antique cans! Oh, look what you done to them! Sarah didn't care. Yeah. That's the unfortunate thing about Sarah's her loyalties. Shit. I think it might be randomized each time. Hey, Drac. Welcome, welcome. Gunshot's nice. Apartment with help might be nice, too. We might get a uh, third person. Hmm. We already have a few guns. Let's grab the person. We might still get, um... Uh, any, some new, like, guns or weapons right here. Oh, we've got a full neighborhood to explore. I didn't even notice. I always forget things about the game when I haven't played for a while, but it, it comes back to me. I would actually enjoy playing this with somebody else, but I do not think there's online co-op without mods. Still, it'd be fun to actually uh, play this with somebody else. Maybe next year, Death Row of Canada kind of becomes a spooktober tradition. Ooh, 
Toilet Genie? No Toilet Genie. Oops, hi, don't eat me, please. Kind of a junk house, not gonna lie. Come on, please, thank you. Is that it? Uh, one extra. That's not bad. Need to help me one last. Oops, that was a weird chain of events. through here. Hey, don't take the ammo. What a charming game this is. I bought it, I think, before its first major update. And it's just been so cool seeing it develop throughout the years and new stuff get added. I think the Dark Mansions are probably my favorite thing they've added. Just because they're really fun to explore and you get some really cool stuff from them. But I also really liked OPP mode. That was never a thing. Before, I think last stream... Last, last Halloween is roughly around where they added that, or shortly before. Bum, 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 bum. Molotovs. Alright, we'll take the rifle. You know I can't trust any of you guys with explosives. Seriously, you cannot trust them with explosives. Those need to be men done. Go ahead, I, I, I'm a little pooped. Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, hi! Belkis says she really wants to get out of this place. She asks if she can follow you around. You may do so. We'll most likely take you with us. The third body is always great. At the very least, they can hold things and attack with a weapon. Ooh, we're getting blessed with food this run. No big hauls yet, but some, uh, some pretty solid hauls. Alright, and that's it. All eating out of this place like nobody's business. Get in the car! We need to get out of here! The little zombies are chasing us on the little baby feet! Cool. Um, strength training is not bad. Uh, yeah, come on. I don't really know anything about you. It's unfortunate. Alright. You can keep the golf club, why not? Dentist office. Finding some leftover medical supplies and many technically edible tubes of toothpaste, Sarah goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse selection. Morale, I think. Attitude mechanical, I think. Attitude decreases, but morale increases. Okay. Sarah feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years now that civilization is more or less destroyed. Still a pretty entertaining magazine. Alright, so a morale up at the cost of attitude, which is a very bad trade. 
I did not pick the best one. Note to self, do not take questionable science. Uh, bandit watch. Let's bring some sense of bandits today. Let's test you out, Belkis. She ignores the task and falls asleep almost immediately. Ah, it's not great. Yeah, that's that's our food surplus. Oh well, now we know. Five bandits ambush the group while they are about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. Bandits speak in a half whisper, afraid to attract undead attention. They say to hand them over some supplies or they'll yell. Yeah, it might take a bit of damage. Oh no! Calling the bluff was successful. Betrayal of sleep, indeed. Ugh, I wish we had that extra food, but... Whatever, we'll see what we can do here. So I could sell things, but I don't really have anything she'd want. I don't think they would take uh, regular pistols, because they're pretty common. Uh, no thanks. Beware the clown, yeah. Bard, eh? I don't think there's an achievement for the bard. If there is, I'll take him. Oh, wait, I don't even think I can afford. Oh, no, five food. I can afford. Is there an achievement for the bard? Fun fact, I got the achievement for beating Marathon Mode, August 17th, 2017. That's neat. Never won with the Fencer? Really? Uh, oh, I guess maybe I had some of these before Chilo's. That's unfortunate. Never one with the Sumo? Sag. Renaissance Fair Bard! Okay. Looks like the Bard is, in fact, joining the team. an alt tab. It's just an alt tab. There you go. I'm ready to LARP. Translator's note. Live action roleplay. Bard's wits revealed and aptitude revealed. Nice. I look forward to it. Whoa. Oh, too bad I can't get the spear. I love the tactical spear. That's one thing I don't like about the current build of Sarah is that she always has the machete. On one hand, she always has the machete. The other hand, that slot always has to be the machete, and sometimes I got the opportunity to run with the spear or the golden knife. Golden knife is really good. Alright, let's go for now. We've got, like, no food, so we have to hope we find some soon. I think we're gonna have a siege event pretty quick. Bard wants to rob Grace. Nah, we'll leave you alone. I won't be a dink. Here we go. Stuck in a ditch. We got 0 0.7 hours to survive. That's not that bad. Near noon, that's also not bad. Here's what we're gonna do. Belkis. Take the rifle. And take the Molotovs just in case. Bard's got his loot. I'll take the gas. 
to listen to beautiful music as we fight. Okay, guys, back up. Jake. Okay, I think he's okay. Get out of this corner. Siege is almost over. I only really crossed to see if we could maybe get some more loot, but unfortunately, Velkis got hit and broke their golf club. That's not ideal. I'm glad Jake was able to just shrug off the fire. Damn. Jake's not often mechanical, but if it wants to make him mechanical, as long as somebody knows how to do that stuff. Oh, we should get some golf clubs from this. And some fitness up, I was hoping of that. Big morale loss, though, and we're out of food. Still, that fitness up is huge, and did we get golf clubs? We didn't. Belkis is having a morale breakdown. Let's see if Bard's <clears throat> good at dealing with it. Nope! Belkis is infuriated by Bard's attempts to manipulate her. She throws a punch at Bard and stomps off into the night. Did we lose her? Yes. Did she take our rifle? No. Okay, well, bye, Belkis. Also, our car is having some engine troubles. That's not great. Uh, let's do an arcade. We can up our... Um, Shooting from that, I believe. I think it said it was near night, too, so we'll bring a flashlight. Oh no, it's morning. Okay, put that away. It's a pretty long there is no upper level to it. Uh, that music, by the way, will draw zombies to us. In case you're wondering. And it's raining, so they're extra irritated. That's fine. Bard bro is a bro, and we will keep him alive. Elvis functions very similarly to the bard. The Tactical Spear is the name of the other one that I really like. You might be able to make that a signature weapon. Skill might, or the perk, I guess, might need to be upgraded more. I haven't ever really done custom character creation with you guys on stream. That might be something I'm doing at some point. Creating a, uh, a stream grouping of characters. Honestly, I probably should just play some more Death Row Vikanda on stream in general. Maybe intersperse long breaks of uh, some of the longer things we do. Uh, plays an arcade game called Death Splosional. Shooting revealed, shooting increased. And two hours later. Uh But yeah, maybe like when we're going through a Trails game and it's taken an entire year, we can intersperse it every once in a while with Death Row to Tandem Commissions. It's a fun game. Toilets! Three opportunities for a genie! Big sad. Huh? 
All right, second street. What you got? Ooh, and a comic book store. Might find some stat books in there. Thank. Yes. Finds the comic book in good condition among the ruined ones littering the floor. It seems to be about burly superheroes and tights that run around and punch people. Oh, that's gonna be strength up for everybody. Guards lagging us out. Nothing else in here? Not really. You only ever really get one uh, book per building. Alright. Could clear these guys out. We've got enough room to kind of take them around a bit. But also just leave. Ah. I like to be thorough. Beautiful. Oh, and there's another door here. Just make sure. Yeah. Another opportunity for a genie. No genie for us. <laughs> Thorough. Alright. At least two more buildings. Ooh. This one looks promising. Let's just pick this stuff up. Hey, buddy, why don't you uh, pick up better stuff? Yeah, that's fine. Aren't super good. Right, that's the one that we took earlier. Oop, hi there. Oh, that's fine. We're getting fuel from him. Don't think too hard about that. Ooh, hi. Junk. Junk. Are you a fully junk house? Well, not quite. You've got a good kitchen. We need that. Cleavers are good. Somebody take that cleaver. Yeah, that's fine. Got a bit more food from it. Anything else for us? Nope. All right, we out. You know, I wonder if uh, part of the reason Burke has stomped off when uh, Bard said something is because our hiring Bard is what made it so that we didn't have enough food for us to eat that night. It's a graphic it's a graphic novel, not a comic book. Who should get to read it? Me. Oh, shooting increase too. Strength and fitness though is a more important bet. The Spandex League. She absorbs the contents. Sadly, she ruins the comic book book for others due to her grimy fingers. How when did Bard take damage? Ooh, a radio station. Death Road Radio. 
The broadcasting equipment is hooked up to a gas generator with a small amount of fuel left. There's enough power to get out one message to anyone that may hear it. Who should send out the message? Me. Everyone but me is a nerd! Delightful. Yeah, Jake and Bard weren't too happy about that. Oh my god, this. Um, okay. At the end of the day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside in the doors of the house. So this is a mechanical up, and... I think we're making Jake our mechanic this time around, so go ahead, Jake. He improvises. Results don't look pretty, but manages to keep the zombies out. Ah, it involves the wits, too. Which his wits are good, thankfully. And it's mechanical went up, which, which is the important bit. And the others aren't quite as sad, as sad about being a nerd. That last song was called Battle of Swole Mountain. We don't have a lot of gas, do we? No. City Row with car? We, we kind of do need a new car. Let's do that one. <coughs> Very thick, irritated, near sunset. That's not ideal. Alright, give me a sec. Oh, I just noticed. I, I've always found it annoying that you couldn't like go back to see what the the light condition was, but I think if you look uh, behind this thing here, it, it looks like it's near a sunset. I'll have to pay attention to that. All right, so you carry a flashlight. I think we can give you a gun now, a bard with a gun, which is hilarious. And a flashlight. Jake can carry stuff if we find anything. I'm also try not to think too hard about the fact that the stuff we leave uh, in our previous car just kind of teleports to our new trunk, despite the fact that we very clearly did not transfer anything. Look at that! Keys in the first building! Love to see it. Still exploring everything we can, but. Pretty big house. It is getting late, and we don't want to be here when it gets too late. So I might start leaving some of these zombies behind. Let's see. Those guys, honestly, have fun. Ah yes, rifle ammo in the fridge. That's where I keep my rifle ammo. Is that where you keep yours? I also love the uh, the ammo in the grandfather clock. Technically leave now, but like, why? Always be looting. Wow, someone broke the uh, the couch there. Take those medical supplies. Leave you gentlemen to have your fun. Junk. Oh, no, one more. Okay, that's... Is that it? Hard to 
saying. Yep, looking like that's it. We out. Not even that late. Yahoo! Good. We needed a new car. Okay, let's take those flashlights off. Beautiful. Hope I don't run into any more bandits. The giant Fisher. Okay, I'm definitely glad we have the new car. Should survive it. Jake grabs the wheel and pounds the gas metal. Metal pedal. The car bolts forward, ripping a howling screech into the sky. Big morale increase for Jake and Bard. Sarah's not... I guess Sarah's already at max. Car barely makes it, but sinks like an anvil and smashes into the ground. Chunks the car fly in various directions. It took a beating, but it's still running. Yeah. The chassis took, like I think, like three points of damage. Group finds another traveler by the roadside named Lakita. She insists on joining the group immediately. The group isn't even given a choice. Terrible composure, great attitude. Alright. Well, once again, you can hold a weapon. Claims she was a top secret super soldier. Ah. Tinkering? I believe so. Yeah, but it would make everybody tired. Do it anyway, bud. We've got guns and ammo. Mechanical is now smiley face, which is good. We're gonna need that if this car breaks down on us. Ow. Jake accidentally slams his hand in the car door. In anger, he gets out and kicks a tire, stubbing his toe. This makes him blow a gasket! Composure decreased, and he's hurt, because we have no food. Mall rescue or police headquarters. Do we not have the fuel to keep driving? We don't. That's unfortunate. Um... So there's going to be a lot of food at a police headquarters, but we might get some weapons... There also might be no food at the mall rescue. Do the mall rescue. Late morning, okay. Alright, so we've got some weapons. You... Oh, not you, sorry. We didn't get to heal Jake, that's unfortunate. Go ahead and take the cleaver. It'll probably break, but it'll let you get by for a while. Nice. Oh yeah, and we're all tired. I need to be careful. That bard, I was going to throw it. Okay, yeah, there goes that bat. Get you a sturdier weapon. Time to advance. Well, take a breather first and then advance. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, one's coming. Look forward. 
forward to the glorious music of the bards to the entire marathon playthrough. Yeah, that was that was well thought out. Is that a bow? Really? I don't think I knew those were in here. Thirty arrows, I see. Can you get more? I don't know if that's new or if I've just never found it before, but that's that's cool. I don't believe I told you to take your pistol out there, Bard. I think it's because he was picking some. Yeah, gotta grab that fishing rod. Great weapon. Yeah, and then it's because he's switching back while his AI is trying to attack. Can someone grab the rusty machete? Oh, that was her. Did she drop anything important? No, she did not. Okay. Did we fully check this store here? We did. Okay, time to move on. Oh, and we got this room here. Bathroom with no toilets in it. Here we go. Get out of my way, please. There we go. That door might get broken down. I was running into there. Uh, I think I'm, I'm too tired to pick up uh, shopping carts. Like, it's reduced my strength enough to the point where I can't pick up any. Oh, don't mess around with being tired. This racket and a oh, that, uh, here. Who wants it? Certainly better than the fishing rod, that's for sure. Oh, this one's actually got toilets in it. Four opportunities for a genie. Unfortunate. <coughs> and a bullet. Gotta love finding random bullets in your toilet. We're still getting customers. Ah, it's an umbrella store. Build umbrellas. Do not need any umbrellas. But thank you. I think I might have to okay the use of guns here. No? No, maybe we're okay. you there, buddy. There you go. Ooh, a parasol. Fancy. Oh, hello. 
right, we're here to rescue someone. I almost forgot about that. Nice pool cue. Food! Game throws at the sight of food. A lot of food too. It's a bit of that. Well, not a lot, but like a decent portion. Someone could grab that cleaver. No, no cleaver. Okay, that's fine. I'm not super hung up on it. That one reached. Okay, <coughs> okay, we got all the food. No, a little bit more. Now I think we got all the food. Yep, okay, good. I have to go to another bathroom. Which is good because it's starting to get kind of late. No, 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 no. There we go. Wasn't just going to leave him alone in the carnage of his brethren. Quick, I wasn't sure if I actually checked this right store. Probably. Yeah, it was Orin, Orin Bat. How oh, did they actually break through? Yeah, they did. Here, you know what? Just to be thorough. Come here, you two. shooting training. Oh. Dude, I got the food to fix the morale. You're annoying, Jake. Fine. Alright, Lakita. Give me your shit. You're out. Jake's pulling a big hissy fit. Jake feels pretty smug about this. Yeah, I bet, champ. Um, I think this leads us to a siege event, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Group doesn't even get settled into the house before they realize a large horde is closing in from the pouring rain. Siege length only an hour. Leave the bow behind. Why are you kicked away someone who could use a gun, dumbass? Here, you know what? You go ahead and take the rifle. I'll take the emergency Molotov. You carry a flashlight. We don't need the flashlight. I don't think we're tired anymore at the very least. Yeah, alright. Go ahead and use your gun if you want. Ah, 
lit myself on fire! Alright, that's fine. That's totally fine. I only took uh, a heart from it. Oh shoot, we're getting boxed in. Boxed in! Come on, guys, get out! Let's get the fine, only 20 minutes left. Back to smashing for now. Uh, and what are you doing over there? Oh my god, my guy. Get out of that corner. That was so dumb. Alright, there's no more enemies getting added, but okay, yeah, get get back to using your gun. I'm trying to escape up the side here. Come on. Come on, Bard, come on. Ah, we out! Nice. That was hairy. Sure, it'd be nice if we had a fourth person right now, Jake. I require a fatoculate to eat. Be kind of dope, not gonna lie. Oh, Nomi! Pretty sure I have one with Nomi before. I mean, we'll take Nomi, but I'm fully down to, uh, to ask him if someone better comes along. Group takes a wrong turn down a country road and comes across a house. The house is a large mushroom, nearly as big as a person. There's a little gated area outside with some sort of exotic rodent grunting inside of it. A gnome steps out of the house and starts shrieking and pointing at you. Nomi jumps onto his rodent thing. You have a zombie problem? That's a gnome problem! The rodent rears back and whinnies dramatically. Nomi points toward the horizon and winks. Strength and medical are garbage, but wonderful attitude. Oh yeah, and he's only got one health, I think. Do, do I have? I have Nomi, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Oh man, the Steam client is always so buggy. Whatever, that's fine. We will endure the smell in order to get some sleep. Because being tired sucks. We need some more medi medical and food. And gas, apparently. Dang. We have received a boot. It's a symbol of good luck. Out of food, nice try, Bard, but we have no medical. Ah, a long street with a car at the end of it. Swarm size sardine packed, aggression hunting, current time near sunset. Yeah, that's not great. No, me, bring a flashlight with you. I think you're meant to fight without a weapon, but go ahead and take the spiked bat, anyways. And you can keep the guns. Actually, can Nomi use a gun? Let's give him a pistol. That'd be hilarious. Alright, that's what we got. Oh, do I still have it on either? I do. Smashing for now, gentlemen. This isn't a siege, so they don't endlessly spawn, we can cut our way through. They do spawn, but not on siege level. Ooh, game doing okay there. Oh, and he summons a gnomes! Hey, I like summons. Oh no, he just summons summons. Right. I think he can summon any summonable character. Is that what's going on? Only oh, summon rats. Oh shit, maybe we'll keep Nomi. Maybe that's why I, I remember having the achievement. It's usually a good take.
here on this little set. He's gonna have to rage for a sec. Fun fact, I am a big fan of summoning strats. My favorite Diablo classes are all with the summoners. Necromancer and Druid in Diablo 2. The one time I played Diablo 3, I played the Witch Dog with Jars of Spiders. That was pretty fun. <coughs> Lots of gas, still no food. Car almost tried to break down on us. Thankfully, we took the time to train Jake in mechanics. Can you find the secret horse mode? Hmm, trading. Oh, we've got some more things that might be worth selling. I don't think anyone's gonna take a boot, but I might as well check. Maybe the bow? I'll check a few things. I know me. Ooh. I might spend some ZP for food. I'm not too concerned about upgrades. Get them all eventually, you know? Obviously, two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. Not yet, but maybe. Might get lucky and find some food in here. Huh. Enjoy the mechanical up, Bard. Doesn't Sarah have charisma? Charming. Yeah, yeah, trade. I guess Bard has it too, but he's a rare character, so his takes priority. This woman is decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish excess exercise clothes. She's been continuously running in place this whole time. Only the fittest will survive in this zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. Yeah, I wish I could afford that. Another opportunity for a tactical spear. We're not robbing anybody, Bard. Oh my goodness. Wow, nothing in here. Fine with robbing him that way, but not the direct way. It's a little too on the nose. How much food we got? One. By the way, we won't have enough for a full meal tonight, but I can at least get us a half meal. Oh my god, he did. I'm ascending! And then he flew off into the sky. Oh, here, you know what? You guys, sorry, hold on. We should put all this junk away. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, they didn't have anyone who will buy stuff, that's why. I thought they would. I profiled their camp. Now we can get in. Still need some medical. And another siege. So that that first siege, that house siege, I did that specifically because uh, usually after a siege you get an upgrade. We didn't get one after that. Unless you count Nomi appearing as our upgrade, which I, I don't think is how it works. So I won't make that de uh, decision again in the future based on that merit. Before Dawn is not great. We're gonna need our flashlights.
I didn't count how much we got, but it wasn't a little bit. Certainly enough for a full meal. Probably not much more. Uh, ten. Yep. Might even be some in the bathroom. Nothing else in here. All right, that's fine. Is there a stick out here? Oh, oh, oh! Is that a stick? Someone pick it up. Here, Jake, pick up the stick. Did did I imagine it? I thought there was the prompt. Damn. You want to find a good stick? Oh yeah, the the gnome has poken. Interesting. You want to find a good stick, because you can use that to technically win the game. And for a few specific scenarios. Put the flashlights away. Jake talks about an old pet. Ooh, we'll take fitness up there, everybody. Sarah's now to medium. Nomi's is not terrible. Bards is Bards and Jake's are happy face. We like those. Only you can increase my gnome level by doing gnome quests. Oh, charming will get us. Yeah. Morale up with less food for a full meal. Can opener has seen better days. Rush hour. Zombies in the city have stirred. They are already aggressive as a group arrives. We'll take the stronghold. Some better uh, chances for supplies. Might be a sturdy machete at the camp supplies shop, but like I already have one for myself. No one else really needs one right now. Whereas we might get like a pretty good gun or some explosives or maybe something a little better. Oh, we did get a log though. When did we pick that up? Must have been the thing I thought I saw, but it was in nobody's inventory. I think that could be used for something, too. Oh, yeah, and outside you can see that it's raining, perhaps, but at the very least, it's daytime. All right, this should be fine. Everybody but Jake's got it done. Got uh, three spaces up in the door. Is there nothing on this street? No, a very narrow streets. Okay, that's good to know. There's nothing on the middle street. In the park, any closer? There's our stronghold. Anything past? Yes, a whole other street. Might as well do that first. Okay. We should try and hustle a little bit. One, that's fine. The time is not in our favor to be thorough. Bullets? Yep, I was expecting this to go. Ooh, and medical, we need that. Thank <laughs> you. 
heck with this room. Ooh, okay, hi there. Thanks, Power Glove guy. You always want to try and do the farthest away ones first. So that if you run out of time, you can check the other places on your way back. Or at the very least, you're closer if you have to make a run. Get that? Yeah, we did. Gonna hit night pretty quick here. Things are gonna get a little bit spookier. We're probably gonna hit night while we're in the stronghold. Which is not ideal because those things are pretty thick. I do not have a flashlight. It might be worth just running home quick and pick up home. Running back to the car quick and picking one up, yeah. No, we're just gonna go. It's just a stronghold and this. Oh, and of course this one's nice and full. Yeah, you're gonna hear the spooky nighttime music soon. We don't tolerate death. Oh, is the trackpad frozen? I think the trackpad's frozen. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Certain games. Which means we are going to have to try this place again. Which is fine. will tolerate some death for some of the side characters, but Sarah and Jake have plot armor. Not always Jake, but always Sarah. Come on. Okay. I think we still have to... No? Okay. Uh, still the infested stronghold. No reason to change that up. What time of day is it? Still kind of late-ish. The map will be different though, so expect that. You know what, I'm gonna take a uh, flashlight with us just in case. Preemptive flashlight. Peace. 
fruits this time. to find lots of food, however, if that isn't too much trouble. of rooms and choices with dead ends with nothing in them. Hooray! Oh, well, one in this one. One medical. I don't know why I keep calling it medical. It's in the game as medicine. But you get it. A little bit of food. More food. Again, bullets in the oven. That's that's where I keep my ammunition. Should be able to heal an injury or two when we get out of here. Stronghold, hopefully we don't die immediately again this time. Is it 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock? That's the cutoff for night. 9, okay. Music starts to switch immediately. I even need to It is starting to get pretty dark for us. I'm glad we brought that flash. Appreciate this extra food. room except a huge sea of undead. Sad. Right? No weapon someone accidentally picked up? Nope. Well, the bard has them off now. So that's a thing. Zombo boys. Ah, music started. I think just had uh, a bunch of supplies in it. Yeah, so nine o'clock is cut off. We're gonna get a whole lot more aggressive and plentiful outside.
And that's it. Time for that straight run to the car I mentioned. Go, go, go. Not seeing a horde yet. Good. I guess this is supposed to cut through them. We're right next to the edge now, so they are spawning more here. Still, we made our way to the car. Thank you, Bard. A man in makeshift armor made from athletic gear is standing guard in the middle of a narrow wooden bridge on the road. He's wearing boxing gloves, staring forward at the car, silent as he blocks the way past. I don't think we have anyone strong enough to actually push him off. Yeah. The car works, but it takes damage. Let's go with the car. Yeah, I took two hits. That's about what I thought. Sarah and Bard are fully healed. Nomi just always only has one HP. And we're out of gas anyways. That was a good call. And we're injured again. Camping, it's miserable, but at least we got food. Nice try, Bard. <sighs> we lost us some food and some ammo. We now can't get a full night, full meal tonight unless we get some food here. Rest stop, I think there's. Oh no, we're on a road, okay. Near sunset, irritated, very thick. Alright, so keep the flashlight. Why do I have scissors? Why do we have a zombie leg? Get rid of that. And that. Get rid of your mop. Okay. Um, Bard, why don't you also take the other flashlight? Because Nomi can still poke. I think maybe it's the pokes that trigger? Like the summoning aspect? Oh, if we find a stick here, we have to take it. Take it and be glad we weren't walking for longer. Yeehaw! But I hope we find some more gas pretty dang quick, though. Otherwise, we're right back to walking. Only takes 12 per, per load, okay? So as long as we get at least 12 be okay. <sighs> Bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand... I hate these. These are like the worst ones to get. Remainder of our food and half of your ammo and medical... I have no medical. Ammo wouldn't be too bad. Probably jump it to be honest. Yeah, it's a good car. 
Bart is real mad about having to pay bridge tolls, even post-civilization. She runs right into the retracted bridge, sending the car flying past. Oh, you're a lady. That's cool. Composure revealed. We made it. Any damage to the car? Nope. We got a good car for it. Believe it or not, the type of car you has does matter, and we're out of gas anyways. Dang it. Immortal American pastime. The group spots a car speeding down the road. Maybe the stranger can help them. Without slowing down, the driver yells out, NERDS! And then the car is gone. Bard's morale decreases. Nobody to notice, nobody don't care. The other two aren't happy about it. Low on food, but at least we had mess for a meal. Alright, it's morning. We shouldn't need the flashlights. See what we can do here. Oh boy, you are so good. Right, out of the corner, ladies and gents. That one was sparking. Sparkling. It was in fact not. Terminator truck. We didn't leave the bard behind, did we? No, okay, good. That can't happen. Oh, cool, and immediately we get something like this. Ah, shoot, okay, we're not going into a factory right now. Heck with that. Um, I don't want, I also don't want to rest up either. I'll waste a little bit of gas just because we got so much there. Um, arcade would up our stats some more. A gas station would definitely have some food. Yeah, we'll do the gas station. We're coming, bro. Don't have a whole lot to bring, but we're coming. Please. Stop picking up random garbage, Bard. I will tell you what is glorious and beautiful. Oh, oh, okay, I should have taken the flashlight. That's fine. It's only an hour siege. We can siphon that gas out there if we, um, blow it up. Alternatively, I can blow it up. Ooh, I didn't even notice that got lit. I think we got away from that. Damn propane tanks. Half 
minutes an hour. Everybody out of the corner, or uh, out of the doorway. Cool. That's not in our way anymore. Ten minutes. Five minutes. And we threw. And the nice thing is, whenever a siege ends, uh, if there's like zombies that are not in the immediate area you're in, most of them will despawn unless they're visible. If they're visible to you or in the same room as you, then you gotta deal with them. But other than that, yeah. And it looks like we're gonna get to siphon this after all. Beautiful. I'd say that was a pretty worthwhile detour then. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Ooh, give me the food. Medical would have been nice too, but just give me the food. We can work with that. It gets late and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up to watch? Take shifts. We have a full party. Group takes turns sleeping during the night. With the full group, there's enough people to still get plenty of sleep. Group eats a decent meal. Group continues making progress along the death road. Oh, trading. Beautiful. Might actually be able to buy something here. No, so thank you. No, so thank you. You're a recruit, I think. Yep. Sorry, Cecilia. Trees. I don't know if there's a Bigfoot or a Yeti or something in Death Road to Canada, but there totally should be if there isn't. I always imagine there's going to be one whenever I enter a place like that. Literally nothing worthwhile here. That's unfortunate. That's us back from dinner. How's the road trip going? Uh, Sarah died briefly, so we uh, reset the timeline in order to try that event again. Ooh, Dark Mansion! Swarm Gym is also super duper tempting, but Dark Mansion every single time. Uh, and yeah, we're doing we're doing all right. Otherwise, a big string of uh, our car running out of gas, but we're good for a bit. 187. Dark Mansion is huge. Okay. Um, Nomi, you don't need your gun. Let's get rid of the fork. Uh, let's get rid of the nail board. It's trash. We'll get rid of the tire iron. It is also trash. The crowbar might be useful for something else. I'm not sure. We'll get rid of the hammer. It's trash. Get rid of the kitchen knives. They are trash. Time and space be like that. Okay, that's super huge. Okay, so you can just hold on to that. Take a flashlight. Take a flashlight. We're gonna need it. Yup. You see Dark Mansion? You take Dark Mansion. Current time, time to buy a new watch. Indeed. These puppies are long, and there's no time limit on them. It's night time. You can find some good stuff. All right, so we've got one, two, three paths at the start. Let's go left. Wow, was that? That is the smallest dark mansion path I've ever seen. Yeah, 
Okay, this is a little bit more like it. Definitely want to be clearing places out, especially if we don't have a time limit. Okay, so we came from right there. Let's start down. Alright, nice and easy. with your sad ass face. Ooh, shotgun, our first one. Cool, well that's this little sub path done. And then there's also Oh, is that this whole path done? It is, okay. It's not shaping up to be a very big dark mansion. Oh, no, this is a whole sub path we didn't go. Oh yeah, it is. It's not this side. Oh, there's food in here. Oh, haunted fridge. Haunted fridge. Where the haunted fridge? Is that it? Okay, that is actually the end of this uh, path, which means we only have one path branching off from the main area left. And it's the one to the right. I'm trying to loot that. Can you, thanks. Is that a shiver or a skeleton? Please don't take that. She took it. She took it. Which way did we come from? This way? Yes. And there was another path to take. Okay. Woo! Ow! I think I'm on my last health. Even a blood trail for them to follow. Oh, more food! Hell yes. Haunted chair. I don't, I don't think those can hurt us, but they might be able to. That's a chair shadow. branching paths here. You know what? I'm down for there to be no epic loot, but a lot of supplies. I am a-okay with Maybe one piece of epic loot, you know? It doesn't have to be a whole inventory full. One, two, three paths. We'll go left first. Sometimes there are uh, two different uh, doors on the same wall. But you can usually at least count on one in each of the directions. Or at least 
check for the one, you know? Yeah, call him in, Bard. That was almost bad. Ooh, more branch of cast. Okay. Ooh, my god. Yeah, okay. So this one is clearly the side that all the stuff was on. Nice. I guess maybe Jay. Jay could probably use that. I can't really use it yet. I'd like to know what my strength is, but it's not going to be super duper high. Hey, bud. Whoa, wait, what's it called? The Mega Knight Blade. Yeah, okay. I almost thought it said Meta Knight. Yeah, that's a good weapon. It's like three or four zombies in one hit. It's heavy, so you gotta have good fitness to wield it and the strength to do the damage with it, but it's a pretty effective weapon. In the right hands. That's kind of why I'm not super happy with the um, favorite weapon thing for Sarah with the machete. Because it's great for early game, but it can kind of hamper you uh, late game. Might swap that out for more starting fitness at some point. I think that's what I had it initially as. I haunt a chair. Okay, I think that's this area done. Oh, is that it? Oh, we still got up here. Oh, nope, looks like that's it. Mega Knight Blade was our epic item. Oh, still, we got lots of food. Ammo supplies. I think we have enough medical to heal me back to the At least two more. Alright, everybody remember to lock the door on your way out so this place stays cleared for whoever needs it next. Yeah. All in all, not the best Dark Mansion I've ever seen, but not, not an awful one. F A F fifteen, fast and the furious, fast and aggravatedly furious. Gotta go fast. A fast and fancy car pulls up to you dramatically. The driver shouts from his window. On the death row, the only way to survive is to be fast and also furious. I see. Nomi asks for rules. <coughs> Nomi isn't clear on the rules of drag racing. Uh, the only rule of drag racing is that there are no rules. The driver then goes on to ramble on about a long list of drag racing rules. During this, Bard goes ahead and siphons all the gas from the driver's car. Love it. Good job, Bard. Honestly, I don't think I'd give up Nomi at this point unless one of the more epic people come out or show up because Bard, Bard's great. Or, uh, Nomi's been great, too. Um, okay. I think Sarah's okay with this. Composure good. You get out of the fire without losing anything. You'll love to see it. I would love to find a tank to drive around too, Jake, but I do not think there are any in this game. Weapon stealing bandits? No. As the group explores the campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. Not even bandits will usually do this as it's a slow but sure death sentence. I think the compromise we can pick. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Bard offers a compromise to the bandits. The group will leave something the bandits want on the road, then drive away. No harm will come to either side. <laughs> yeah, except we're leaving, bitch! Bard tricks the bandits. While they wait for supplies to be dropped, the group runs into the car and peels out. Bandits manage to shoot the car as it's speeding away. So the car took a bit of damage, but like, no, we're not giving you anything, assholes. Ooh, I might actually be able to buy something here. I can't sell the sturdy machete, I'm pretty sure. But I might if there's something better here. I'll try it. No, we don't, uh, well, we might sell some gas. Unless he was the opposite. Oh, no, 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 but no, no explosives, please. Not right now. Shotguns are cool. I did already find one, though. Ooh, grenade. Uh, sure. I'll take a free grenade. Stash it for later. I'll take three free food. Stash it for later. Put the grenade away so I don't have to use it. I don't want to get out of your house. I did, but not because you said so. Alright, is there anything I want to sell? I don't think they wanted to buy the bow. Double, double check. Oh, sure, let's see if they want to buy the shiv. Sarah refuses to part with her weapon. The trader is mildly irritated by her time being wasted. Well. Okay. Worth the check. Sell it for 15 food, wow. has Bard robs her. Bard, stop wanting to rob people. All right, that's fine. Trash the shiv and the piece of wood. That should be fine. Are you the one who buys gas or sells gas? Yeah, okay, so I'll sell some gas for some food. We got lots. Long way to go, of course, so that will run out even if I hadn't sold any, but still. I suspect this car is going to break down soon. Jake should hopefully be able to maintain it. Uh, Yalmart Siege. Ooh, might be able to get lots of food in here. It depends on how nice the game's feeling. Uh, we'll take the grenade just in case. Do we have spare pistol ammo? We do. Maybe take that too. Too bad we don't have more than one rifle. Alright, one hour. Let's go. 5 p.m. Chop that. Woo, good. You okay? For a second. It's almost time. There we go. Now just clear out the friendos who are left. Cool. 
think we picked up everything there was to pick up, but we'll double check if there's any side rooms. No, it's just a basic siege, you Mart. That's fine. Better than nothing. And we did get some food out of it. This is some bull crap! I agree, Jake. Um... We don't really have a medical expert yet. Shooting would be nice for everybody, but let's get some more medical training going. The Song of Zombos. Mm. I think we get some food if we find marshmallows. We'll be tired if we do this, though. Just go to sleep, yeah. I don't want to be tired. Group meets a woman limping around with a crutch. One of her legs was wounded in a recent fall. She was getting away from zombies. If we can help, go ahead. We lost a day out of it, and we spent the medical. But... Our medical increase, that's something. I'm happy to lose the food. Before I was a bard, I was a rogue. Before that, I threw paper lightning bolts around. Well, Fancy house, riled up house. Uh, we've got the gas to search. Hoping to find a Yalmar. Oh, a sewer rescue. Gross. Still with the find a good weapon. Nah. I'll do I'll do an apartment row. Near noon, okay. How is the vehicle by the way? Oh I can't I can't check on the screen. That's unfortunate. Alright, put the grenade away. Yeah, this should be fine. Eleven fifteen AM. Narrow streets and that house is empty. Probably wouldn't better doing the uh, wild up house. Some good loot in there, probably. Jake's having a bit rougher of a time with that Meganite sword. It is pretty heavy. I'll try and get us some fitness training soon. Can you guys get out of my way? Nothing. Delightful. Probably would have been better just doing that riled up house. Or even the sewer rescue. That's fine. It's all like we got out of this with nothing. Down 
here. Yes. Is it a broom closet? Functionally, yes. Actually, not even functionally. Didn't even have any weapons in it. Even as basic as a broom. Although I wouldn't have taken it anyway, so still kind of functionally. Alright, we out. Back to the car. Terminate the bill! Wow, okay, I was not expecting that to take that long to start up. It is clearly having difficulties. Oh yeah, the engine's almost down. The golden egg was inside all our hearts this entire time. Jake! You've got, like, happy mechanical- Oh my god, well, I guess it was just that far gone. Yay, we found a cabin before a storm hit. Oh, cool. Just a free car. We'll take that. Oh, the, uh, socialite or whatever. Yeah, sorry, but our, our, our party's pretty set at this point. Um, I'm loyal to him. I hope Kanda has knights and castles. It's British, right? Eh, technically, sort of, kind of. Plan out tomorrow. Doesn't really do anything except gives uh, certain character types a morale increase. <coughs> Pet shop or a bar? Ugh. I guess we'll take the bar. Might get some Molotovs out of it. Can I have those pills? Oh, that's food. Can I have that food? Thank you. I love the icon for junk. It looks like a military crate. Finish them off. Thank you. Zombie was sleeping in the corner, but we still had to be thorough. Wasn't even reacting to us fighting next to it. Finish it, please. Thank you. Don't open toilets. It's my job. What if a toilet genie had popped out? Then I would be stealing your wish. And that would just be me. Stuff out of this place. I haven't even hit the bar yet. 
Glass bottles. That sucks. Ooh, a snub nose, though. Take that. Hi. Sarah has seen this kind of thing before. This person clearly drank too much soda, judging from the bottles lying around. Now he's in need of food to even out his blood sugar. That's kind of not how that works, but that's fine. Anyways, he's just gonna follow us. Ooh, what's this? It's an old fashioned love tester machine. Will this reveal hidden truths about- oh, that's cool. Rating Casanova. Sarah feels oddly flattered by this. The love tester makes a terrible grinding noise, something and it must have broken. What did that do, though? Future skeleton. Sarah laughs this off, but a part of her dies this day. Coal fish. And I got Casanova. I see Wiener. Is that because it broke? Fart butt. Dingus. Alright. Start with Casanova. Oh wow, that's a lot of zombies out there. We good? Alright. Oh, someone broke. Oh, I think it's just whatever the Mara guy was using. Random miscellaneous garbage. Bones and pieces of wood. Ooh, more food! That's something. Ooh, nice. Yay, more medicine. one more house to check through. Possibly two. Well, can we get through this way? We can't really get through. This one, alright. Was it was it was love it. I think if they, like, someone who's not in your party picks up stuff, uh, they keep it. How many items they'll give you, but, like, ammo and stuff, I think they keep. So that does suck. This might be something special here. This is, like, a sub basement thing. Oh, no, okay, there's a little further here. Sometimes you can find, like, a secret lab where you can turn yourself into the fly. Are these Molotovs? They are. Those I will take. What, 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 what did you just... Who dropped something? Beat your ass. Okay, I think it's fine. Oh, it was probably dude face. 
I didn't even catch his name. room and we can get out of here. Well, last path, I should say. Nice. Nice. So much food in this place. Already it's kind of worth more than the Dark Man was. It's hilarious. This map, I should say, because it's all the buildings combined. I wonder if there was a nerf to Dark Mansions at some point, or if it's just because we were earlier in the run. Alright, well, we are leaving. Alright, enough playing around with ya. Heck yeah. Alright, uh, no, I'll take that medical. It is not medical, okay. Canned food is anachronistic. I want something else to eat. Lol. <coughs> Ooh, a game bronus TM. Handheld video game system that survived this long because it's built like a brick. There are a few games with it, all known for their extremely frustrating difficulty. Medical, shooting, mechanical, maybe? Take the shooting. It's gonna be rough on morale. I'll take it. Yep. It's a game about drobness blasting aliens with a machine gun. Most deaths happen due to bad jumping controls mixed with instant kill pits. It was way too difficult. Ah! Wow, way to destroy what is essentially a Nokia. Miserable camping. Junkyard pals. Ooh, that's special. Which gas we got? Could look around more, but I think they give good rewards if we can keep them alive. Group sees two people get trapped in a junkyard by a massive crowd of zombies. They could be saved from their fates if you distract the horde. Okay, so we don't need flashlights. There are a lot of them, though. Um, yes, yeah, get rid of the spine. <coughs> get rid of the femur and get rid of the wood. Nomi, it's got more ammo, but get rid of your pistol and take this instead. Um, I could take an ex the grenade over the Molotovs, but I think I'll take the Molotovs instead. Inside after, I want to get to them before they die. Because then we'll have a good party with us. There they are. Leonard needs help. If you get him out of here alive, he will teach the group some shooting tips. I hope I'm freaking out right now. And Clem. I'm asked for help, if you can get him out of here, he'll teach you the group everything he knows about car repair. Things have been bad since our car broke down. Doesn't matter how good you are, cars break down fast on these roads. One of you, please take this wrench. 
Clem or Leonard. Take take the wrench. There you go. Alright, so we're gonna have to cut our way through. It's not a siege or anything, there's just a lot of zombies here. Hey! No using your gun. Oh! You have your own gun. Okay, you can use your gun if you want. Be careful we don't accidentally get trapped in here. They are getting released a little bit. You know what? Go ahead and use your guns, guys. It's a rare opportunity to cut loose. Damn it! That was not a good spot to throw fire. Sorry, guys. My be. Okay, Nomi's close to death, but Nomi's always close to death. Okay, there, we're out of the crush. That's why you don't trust NPCs with explosives or fire, because see, they would just launch every single one of them point blank. Immediately. Alright, put the guns away, guys. Help me push this car. Or destroy it. They can be destroyed. Just keep pushing until we can get through. Oh, look, we can get through. Yay, dumpster food! My favorite! Can we get through to there? I bet we can if we were to shove this car out of the way. Looks like there's kind of a path, but I'm not. Well, maybe we can do this. Nope. Kind of shoving this way. No, we can't really get in there. It's just a dumpster that generated beyond view, or beyond reach. That is unfortunate. Let's go push our way through the boards. I'm gonna use this. No! Yeah, that's a danger of fire. No, no, me death. We'll do the junkyard again. I totally shouldn't have hit them. It's bad you can't tell them to uh, keep their distance. I shan't accept it. It's booting. So there's two timeline skips we've done. Come on. You can do it, game. I have faith in you. Oh lord, it's trying. Here it comes. Cool. Day 14. <laughs> Noon, okay. Mm. 
Alright, get rid of your dinky little regular pistol. Go ahead and take a snub nose for your trouble. Also, sorry we killed you last time. It's an accident, but in my defense, you're kind of an idiot. Okay, we're gonna have to push through that. Oh, they're right near the entrance this time. At least Leonard is. They are together this time, which is interesting. Oh, well, there's Clem. If I remember correctly from the last time we played this on stream, uh, those guys are a reference to the show. Not one I'm familiar with, but still cool. That should be fine, guys. Like, come on. Don't be dumb. Make smart decisions. Who's that? That's... Okay, Leonard, you can use your gun all you want. I don't care. In fact, go ahead and use it all the time if you want. It saves us ammo. surrounded here, but we should hopefully be okay. I love getting massive parties in this game. Some summons that summon other summons and items that summon people. Now, no reason to be taking damage. Just be careful. No one took damage. They almost did. I didn't quite see who I think it was barred. Alright, I think we've got everything we can out of the junkyard part of the junkyard. Let's try and leave and do a little bit better than last time. So the Molotovs. Oh wow, the building is garbage. That's sad. Got more of these up here though. And I think we're pretty much good to go, so let's do that. actually in there. Uh, Clem survives and shows some great repair tips while he fixes up the car. Nice. Jake's almost at max. Sarah's shooting's at max. Awesome. That was pretty worth. Last computer, last chance for internet. In a house with a generator attached, the group stumbles onto a working computer. It's one of the oldest style ones when the monitors were built like an enormous brick with glass on the front. The group salivates. Finally, finally a chance to watch YouTube videos. Uh, go ahead. Have fun. The computer makes strange piercing noises and distorted chirps. What the heck is going on? Jake expertly gets the computer to work. It was the hardest thing he has ever done. Hey, Max Mechanical, what? nice. Internet seems to be down though, how come? Jeez, I wonder. Oh shit, it's Rose. That's my mechanic uh, custom character. Unfortunately, we already have a mechanic and our party's full. Sorry, Rose. Group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to do. Sometimes you get your shit stolen, sometimes you have a good sleep. I'm gonna take a chance. Yep. 
The group takes a risk and goes to sleep in the crowded camp. Nothing unusual happens. Group eats a decent meal. Good enough for two more meals. Starting to run low on gas. Oh, nice. Price is so low, they're free. Group finds a used car lot that seems untouched by time, or at least not touched by looters. Find a supply of gasoline and a few working cars. Nice! So what do we have? A decent car, but nothing amazing. Um, tiny car isn't super strong, but it can survive some hits. These two gas guzzle, but they're they're relatively tough. We're gonna keep our car. It's a good mix. Trader camp. I think we're almost halfway through. Nice. Sell some gas. The group finds a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks. Welcome to Ammo Emporium! Everything must go! No thanks down here. What's your favorite type of canned food? Not sure. Fireworks enthusiast. Group meets a woman holding a Roman candle. It's unlit. She seems like she's ready to light it at any moment. That's funny. Two Mount Dingus TM. These are fireworks. KO Boomer, Roman candle. Uh, I'll, I'll not buy explosives. Sorry. Ooh, good shooter. The witch! Oh, we can't hire her. That's unfortunate. Um, we don't have enough food. I think she's like 20 or 24 food. Uh, that might be because it's almost Halloween and uh, you get Halloween specific stuff uh, more often closer to the holiday. Or at all throughout the holiday. Um, I think the cat still takes over one of our um, slots. There is an achievement for getting it. I still don't know if I actually have the achievement for Nomi. I don't want to get rid of Nomi. Because Nomi's a bro. Let me double check. The debutante, the, the fashionable lady, I definitely have that one already. We saw her earlier. One with some pig in the team. Got that achievement. There's one for basically every type of animal. I've apparently won with the original hot va uh, with a vampire. That's cool. Oh, I've won with Nomi. The most OP character S++ on the official tier list, it says. So I've won with Nomi. What about, what about anything with the witch, though? I got the achievement for the Toilet Genie on August 6, 2017. Open 100 toilets, revealing the Toilet Genie. God, it's so slow scrolling through. Definitely don't have one with the bard, so we're keeping them no matter what. There's one for winning with the witch, but I can't afford the witch. I might be able to afford the witch if I sell some, um, gas. Not seeing one for the witch's cat. a beaver and a turkey for America Day, Canada Day, and Thanksgiving, respectively. That's cool. Dog Squad. Win with four dogs! Dog Squad. So no humans, only dogs. There's two hidden achievements, and I doubt this is one of them. Okay, so I do not think there's an achievement for winning with the cat. Um, and I can't afford her but we'll see. I might sell some gas. 
I could look it up, but I don't really want to. Game? Game, are you okay? Game, you can do it. Don't give up on me. There we go. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, and you're an ammo dumpster? I like, didn't Uzi or grenades. No thanks. We have 97 tanks of gas. I can get four food, which would bring us to 20. I'm willing to buy you if it only if it costs 20 food. Crew witch for 20 food. Let's do it. Sorry, Nomi. You were a bro. Which gives bar to free, which is broom. Sorry, Nomi. You were a bro, but it's time for you to seek your own path. Did we lose that gun? Might have gone into our storage. What does a witch's broom do? Is, this, is it just like a regular broom? Oh, hi, please. No. Hi. No, no. Don't get rid of that. Well, looks like we didn't keep it. Alright, so you use that and an Uzi. You love to see it. Which with an Uzi. Too bet you can't fly around on her broom and use the Uzi, because that would be, like, ridiculously cool. Alright, we have no food, we have the witch, and we have the bard. I hope we get some food. So that we don't lose one of these people due to an event. Backs to the wall. The group runs into a horde too thick to drive past and gets cornered. They run for a good place to fight, a siege, but the nearby buildings all look ruined. Oh, are we in like an alley? Damn, okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take that. You can take the snub nose instead of that gun. And you just... Have that. Okay. Which might also be able to summon things. I think her. I know her room is unbreakable, and I think it actually hits somewhat. It's not the most amazing weapon. Her strength is definitely her easy. Trying to use this wall above us for advantage. I still took damage. All right. Use them if you got them, guys. Oh, Bard took damage. We need to get out of that corner. Ooh, get inside, get inside. They're gonna be crashing down as well, I know that, but that's fine. Not much longer to survive, and most of them outside will disappear. Beautiful. Alright, that turned out okay. Alright. Oh, which apparently has good medical? Oh shit, okay. Wasted time training us up, I guess. Uh, fitness to everybody? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody take that. Which was meh, but now it's at least middle. Uh, Jake and Bard are big smile, and we're a little smile. That's not bad. Uh, 
abandoned campground with a fire pod, which even finds an old, somewhat stale pack of marshmallows. Uh, we'll take the marshmallows. Tell stories, we just learn more about ourselves. And this way we uh, technically have uh, a meal and gain a little bit of food, too. Flooded out road. Got like no gas, we're gonna run out in like literally any second. Group spots a makeshift ramp and has the spectacularly dangerous idea to try to jump the flooded part of the road. Slow car immediately flips upside down and erupts into flames, not even clearing the obstacle. Okay, so everyone is super hurt. That's 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 great. And we have no food. We were attacked by ants. Okay. Yeah, I mean healing the wounds is nice. Oh, and we're tired. Alright, this is gonna be a rough fight. Here, why don't you give the witch a shotgun too? That seems kind of appropriate, not gonna lie. Which is fairly gangster. Okay, I should be taking the time to clear. This isn't the siege. And we're tired. That's how we get uh, boxed in. You know what? We've got lots of ammo. Use what you got. Alright, that. Definitely need more food. down there. That was kind of a waste of a Molotov, not gonna lie. Get a few more at least. I got like one more. At least we're not walking. Which doing some healing, you love to see it. Oh Lily! That's my uh medic uh custom character. Don't need her either. Which doing some mad healing here. Barn rescue, we can get some uh like chicken summoning stuff. Junkyard. Let's drive around more though. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen fishing cabins, and that's going to have uh, probably a lot of food. I will be right back, and then we will do that.
Hoke back. There's a small row of fishing cabins past a river. Let's go fishing. You're out of luck if underwater creatures are having their own zombie apocalypse. Indeed. I wonder if we would get like a bonus if we have a fishing rod here, though I imagine we'll find lots. Everyone's basically fully loaded, might as well. There's at least no flashlights needed. It really says no fishing. At fishing cabins. That's interesting. Sign says you can't fish here. You can't because you need a fishing pole. <coughs> oh, hopefully there's one in here. Are we really still tired? Damn. Whoa! Hi, a lot of zombies. Fridge, all right. Lots more ammo. I think that was a fishing rod I saw. Right? Ooh, a shotgun. I think that could have another one of those. Is that a new snub nose? It is. Good, Jake picked it up. Coming. no one to stop Jake from fishing here. He uses a fishing pole to cast a line into the water. Hours pass. Jake catches a huge fish. The fish has a tiny human face. It speaks. Hey, let me go. I will grant you a wish. Wish for food. Jake wishes for food. He decides to cook the fish. It's very nutritious. Hell yeah. Sorry, man. Like, I don't really need a powerful weapon or, or any... I, I just need food. So... Rock. I don't suppose I can do that again, can I? No, okay. Death Road to Canada doesn't like to let you uh, redo things like that. Well, I guess I'll always start keeping a rod with me just in case uh, never, a place doesn't spawn with one. I don't think I've encountered fishing cabins before. Sorry, I didn't want him to feel left out. <laughs> Group finds a still shiny car garage. The sign says Carl's Customs. They find some gas and some mysterious car parts. I think Jake's mechanical is already max? Yes, it is. Could uh, mod our car though. Three days. Do we have that much food? Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. We do. Sure. Jake spends a few days in the garage. He tries to figure out the weird parts. He installs them. It was a rocket booster. Speed increased. Lose food. That's fine. So we don't see the rocket booster, I guess, but. Going fast. Group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Bard looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching. Hot wires of the golf ball collector. 
This makes us tired, but we get uh, fitness training. Group picks up a bunch of clubs and gets some bucks of golf balls. They start driving shots down the range as the zombies close in. We got hurt, but Witch's fitness went up, Sarah's strength is revealed, which is not great, and the other two strengths sucks. We're out of food, and morale's kind of low. Two finest things in my life, my super loot and my super loot. Swarmed rest stop is decent. I don't want to waste gas. So we're just going to take that. We'll at least get some food here. Death Swarm. That's not fun. Hunting and near noon. So we don't need flashlights. I guess I'll take the grenade for backup. Yep. Best we got for right now. Cut a path. I think you guys might move. No, we're not leaving. We're just backing off into the corner. Some food out there. I think they came from the trash can. I'm not complaining. Okay, I don't need to be back here. We're just getting ourselves boxed in. Shoot him if you got him, guys. Okay. Hold your ammo. Are we over here? No, I don't think so. Should we see what we're dealing with inside? Not bad, actually. You know what? Everybody inside. We can establish a choke point here. Look at that. Did you see how much damage that hit from the Mega Knight Sword did? That took down like eight of them. You'll love to see it. Can, can, we, can we get these two though? We're gonna fall back a little bit, but we've definitely thinned them out a lot. Breaking the vending machines for us, how nice. Yeah, we'll collect that food shortly, don't worry. Alright, well that was a crush. Hopefully there's some good loot in here too. Barely some more food. Always need more food. Definitely good stuff in there. Get split up, guys. As much as they are a single mass of grabbing and biting, we need to be a single mass of slashing and chopping. And, and smashing, I guess. One of us is using a loot and the other is using a broom. Okay, lots of food in here. That's good. We needed that. Oh, there's snub nose, which is kind of funny. Or at least we can sell those, so we might as well take them. Unlike the regular pistol, I'll take it. Can someone take that shotgun, please? Uh, I guess that's you, Jake. That's good for this room. And I guess that's it too, okay. Nice. Handled well, I would say. I suppose we'll double check if there is a stick up here. Nope, we out.
strange vending machine. <coughs> Looks like someone made it from trunks of scrap iron. Its lights are still on. Everything in the machine costs $20, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. A stick. Box of bandage. Shotgun fun pack. Um... I mean, I know I've been asking for a stick, but I don't need the one that much. I'll take a box of bandage. This will be a very annoying process, I see. I guess I'm the best choice. Takes forever to feed them in. The vending machine keeps spitting them out. Growl decreased, but... I'll take three medical. Keep us going. I want to find a fancy cape I can loot. Siphon gas. Yeah, we could use it. Uh, whoever we do will be tired because they're up all night sick. I guess go ahead, bard. Yeah. Which would have been okay, too. Since neither of them do a lot of heavy damage with their melee. Uh, tree in the road. Do we have anyone strong enough to lift the tree? Nope. Special not when tired. Uh, I don't want to wreck this car, either. I'll take a detour. Mm. Get lost for a full day. Well, there goes that gas we just siphoned. Plus a little extra. Oh, and all of our food. Yay. Oh! Well, we lost Witch. Got fed up. Wandered off. That wouldn't have changed even if I'd reloaded. That's unfortunate. I hate it when that happens. What did you have? We gave you a shotgun, so it just got put over there. Well, at least we still have Bard. Ooh, a Nightfall uh, exploration. That's not great. And we don't even have Nomi! Which please? That's sad. That's very sad. Get rid of that. There's at least a little bit of room. Well, and now we need. Oh, I need a flashlight too. I forgot about that. Now we need a fourth person too. Seconds. This is gonna be very deadly on the streets. We might die here. There might not be much I can do about that. Did I even get him? I did. Um, a food for tonight for us. 
So if we find no more food today, which we already have a little bit, we'll have morale up by the end of the day. Well, I guess it's a good thing we were training our medical up since Witch left. Alright, I think it's just the cop shop now. The question is, can we get there? Oh, and there's this one too. Possibly one more next door, I think. Okay, that was not viable. Cop shop it is. To the Buttville Police Station! Bathroom, did the door break down? It did not. I can't do anything about the ones inside the cells. If they get close enough, we can uh, hit them, and I could also shoot them, I think. No, it's 
cell blocks it. You also can't uh, destroy the cells, I don't believe. Oh no, door off to the right here, okay. And our reward for this place is a little bit of medicine, another snub nose, and a bit of medical? It's kinda ass, not gonna lie. Have room for the stub nose? I don't. Whatever, leave it. Alright, we out. I think I left a few alive, that's fine. It is 3 20 a.m. We need to get to our car. Every single toilet for toilet loot, don't worry. Oh, a moose in the morning. In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured, and it's just glaring at the group. I could treat its injury. I think I've got enough um, medical... Yep, enough med medical supplies. Could also shoot it. We've got the ammo, and we've got the, uh, the shooting skill. I don't think we could wrestle it. So let's shoot it. That's probably going to be food. Sarah tries to shoot the moose. This isn't very sportsmanlike. She blasts the moose. Group gets what stringy meat they can from it before having to leave. That's something. Traveling down a peaceful yet boring stretch of road, Bard sees a weird cloud. Cloud looks just like a cloud. Your dad, Kanda. Nice! The group is inspired by this unmistakable omen. Bard went up twice. Oh, we've only got two gas. Wow, okay, that's kind of bad. I think I actually do have some things we can sell. Alright, can definitely sell a snub nose here. Actually, that might be it. Oh, and some of these extra shotguns. Can we sell the, s the spine with skull accessory? I'm not sure. I don't think we can sell the golf club, but we'll try. Oh, not you, sorry. I should also check inside first. Hi, chicken. Ooh. We'll take that. We'll come back for it. We can throw the egg to uh, summon a chicken. Temporary ally. Oh, hi, doggo. Hi, other doggo. Hi, food. Hi, medican. Medican. Medical medicine. Firearm. Show me the good stuff. Uzi. If we had more food, we might be able to get something better. Which, I mean, hey, here's more food. No thanks. Alright, let's see what we can get from you out here. Shotgun, sell snuffles. Shotgun. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, we could have sold that other snub nose, okay. Go ahead and do that. Maybe you'll buy the spike that. Oh, 
That's fine. Still sell the stuff nose. Actually, you know what? I'll just swap those around. Makes more sense. Alright, you. 21 feet. An assault rifle. That'd be really useful for us. Much more than the hunting rifle. But, that's gonna be the rest of our food. Our morale's pretty high. We should be okay. Oh, but we're also gonna be out of gas in a sec. Alright, I'm gonna take the risk. Trader falls for Bard's Charm and gives extra. Group buys an assault rifle. Whoever uses this needs a lot of shooting skill to handle it, right? Yes, I do. Alright, well then in that case, let's go ahead and sell this rifle. Which will help a little bit in the food department. Nice. We're gonna run out of fuel in a sec, which means we're losing our car that uh, Jake souped up. Ooh, maybe we can get some in the suburb siege. From a distance, the group sees some skeletons and loot in the middle of a debris block street. They walk over to get a closer look. This gets the attention of a horde of zombies that rush out from all sides. Afternoon, that's not bad. That uh, kind of helps with the decision to buy this is, uh, AK-47. Okay, do we need flashlights? We got what we got. Okay, you know what? If I gave you a gun, use it. Yeah, baby! Beautiful. I think it was only an hour. We'll probably explore this area later and hope that we get... Oh, one of these houses is perfect. Most of the board from up top will be able to get to us. The bar, do you mind? Yeah, switching to melee. Still the ones that spawn from down below, but that's fine. We need the extra help right now. Oh my god, how did I not take damage there? Wow, okay. That was the thing. So no food or fuel, but... Ammo's nice, I suppose. Yeah, alright. Twinkies and hostess cakes. Well, at least we've got food for tonight. Group is ambushed, crossing a rickety bridge. Bandits demand a toll to cross. The remainder of your food and half your ammo and medical supplies. Bard threatens to burn bridge. <coughs> Bard promises the bandits that if she doesn't let go, she will come back and burn the bridge down. The bandits are intimidated at the thought of losing their livelihood, so they let the group pass. Once she crosses the bridge, she lights it on fire. <laughs> Bard's kind of a mood. And we get a, a car right away. MPGs. While wandering through a small town, Sarah discovers a newer hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working battery was easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but are fairly fragile. They're also very difficult to repair, so enjoy it while you can. Noted. 
Uh, strength up to everybody. Heck yeah. Max health uh, up for uh, Bard would have been nice, but that's fine. I will take strength up. We need that. Good meal. So we don't have to deal with fast zombies, yeah. Ooh, deadly Yalmar. Yep, that's gonna have lots of food. We doing it. Honestly, we might not have enough. Uh, we might not have enough time to finish this marathon mode in the four hours we usually stream it. It's kind of funny. Is it done? Okay, I took a hit there. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I went about this one poorly. Bard is not going down, especially not after all this. We are getting to the end with our musical friend. Too bad the witch left us. Maybe we'll find her and be able to recruit her again before we go get to Kanda. Or at least another character we get an achievement for winning with. Wow, Steam, come on, catch up. Catch up. Hang tight. still hasn't even fully registered that I've closed the game. Why is the Steam client so slow? Oh yeah, Ultimate Chicken Horse apparently has some uh, Halloween stuff going on. That's cool. That's another game I'd like to play with people uh, on channel at some point. Really fun game. Oh, I think I think I think we're 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 moving. Possibly a grooving. Grooving status unconfirmed. However, please be advised. Grooving status confirmed. Day twenty. Still taking the deadly all mart. I'm just going to use the uh, assault rifle right away. Ain't mucking about. Bookstores are neat too. Skill books, but would rather take massive food store. Near sunset. That's uh, worse than it was before. Alright, Jake. Get your flashlight, dude. Thank you. 
perfect. That worked out pretty decent. Start holding on to that, I don't know. Cleared out a good chunk of them. I'll let you know when you can shoot again, Bart. I know it's anachronistic, but uh, the the shells are um magic missile. Well, no, your handgun's magic missile. The shells are more like cone of fire. kind of stuck there. Cool. Uh, that's the main room mostly cleared out. Let's quickly grab the rest of the goodies. Come on, game. It's okay. Like Dark Mansion, if you see a swarmed or crowded Yalmar, take it. Chances are you're gonna get a lot of food. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to shut that, I meant to open it. I didn't realize it was already open. Fuel is good too, we take fuel. sell that. Go ahead and take it. down below I didn't even see I was running into one. Well, good thing we've got some medical. I'd like a fourth party member again, please. them as soon as someone better comes along, but for now I would take anybody. Interesting that the late night music didn't start playing. This one's probably gonna have a lot of people in it, or a lot of uh, stuff in it. Oh, Two more rooms. There's a bathroom. Yeah, there's a stock room, nice. Shotgun. Uh, go ahead and drop the blowtorch. For sure, we can sell that. Cool. 
Well, now good to try and cut a bloody path through the exit. Ooh, we missed a bit. Nice. Alright. Might have to use your shotgun here. Definitely needed to cut a path with this. And we out. Thirty-five food. Now that is a haul. King of Kanda lives in a real castle. She's alone. She wants to join the team. Good shot with a gun. She refuses to prove she's a good shot because her finger hurts right now. Suspicious. I vouch for that claim. Alright. I can tell you're a good shot. Nice. Well, there's that fourth party member. Alright, so... Starts with a pistol. That's pretty garbage. But, I sold all the other snub noses, so that should be fine for now. Uh... Go ahead and drop the flashlight off. I guess she can take a shotgun and a pistol. And then for melee... What's your strength like? Do we know? No. I guess go ahead and take the aluminum bat for now. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, what's your shooting like, Bard? We don't know. Let's make sure it's decent. It was decent before, and now it's actually pretty good. King of Kanda lives in the hollowed out moose. Everyone knows that. I thought we rode Moose into battle. Boring stop. Hey, I'll take boring. Horde of zombies. They're completely docile, just waiting outside of a shop in a big single file line. Every zombie is just staring straight ahead. You can send someone to join the line to solve the mystery. Looks like it could be a long wait. That would be us, because we have the wits, attitude, and the composure. Sarah patiently waits in the long line. It moves forward very slowly, but she calmly waits it out. The shop is a trendy, upscale grocery store. Most of the fancier items have rotted to mush, but there's still some loot. Hey, nice. Battle is for polar bear mounts. Ah, going the golden compass route. I approve. Uh, noises from the car have already startled the attention. Uh, sporting goods store, apartment with bark banner. We'll take the apartment. It's gonna be mostly indoors, and I think we still have to explore other places. But we might get some good loot there, and we'll rescue a dog. Ooh. I think it gives us morale when we set free. Anyway, sporting goods store doesn't have much. Okay, uh, go back to not using your guns for right now, but we did actually kind of need to clear out a little bit there. Alright, so somewhat wide of streets. And only two levels, that's not too bad. Here's the bark and the regular house. The regular house was garbage. We might as well clear out some of these guys for a second. There's an uncharacteristic lack of destruction from us. Oh, my 
my shooting was delayed there. I was spamming the shoot button. I think um, whenever you're being grabbed, you just kind of have a harder time doing everything. Which, you know, makes sense. Also, I accidentally shot the assault rifle there. That's kind of funny. We take food. And fuel. See what it was. Probably just been jumped too. What's your name? Miley. Oh, there's a dog. Dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. You may follow. We will get you out of here. Into the safety of the wild. I'd keep you with us, but you take up a whole party slot. I love the whole, um, win with a team full of dogs. That would be hard to do, because you'd have to come across four dogs that you can recruit. And then you'd have to replace whoever you started with, so you wouldn't want to be, uh, buffing them up at all. But it is possible, obviously. Imagine getting to the end with only three dogs, and you're like, I just need one more dog! Where are all the puppers? Dog's got a broom, he's gonna clean house! Cool. I think there was one, maybe two more buildings on the street the car was on. And we're good to get out of here. Oh my god, another AK! That's huge. What was over here? Pistol, perhaps, or just that skeleton? Was that dog skeleton? That is. Poor thing. Alright, um. Miley, why don't you go ahead and drop your... yeah. Well, Jake took the pistol, that's fine. Cool. Kinda didn't need to buy that one, although I definitely... we, we needed to survive through those couple of missions we had, and so I'm, I'm very much so glad we bought it, even though we were down on food for a bit. Well, genie? Sad. Have a dresser, you silly people. Think we're good, yep. building still. I'm expecting at least one, possibly both, to be junk. No, this one was a thing too. Wow. I got really lucky on this map. We just gotta survive it.
Nice. Interesting little hallway with a chair and a table and nothing else in it. I guess that could technically be a room, like just, just a regular room. Maybe that's like a study or something, but that's the hallway that I more technically, so I'm pretty sure it's just the hall. I, I don't want the knife, thank you. I wanted that. And that's it, alright, we out. Try not to hit our car with your broadsword, Jake. Yeah, just a morale increase. Churlish. Oh, look at how much medical we have. Uh, go out and chop wood? Yeah, they'll be tired, but do it. Is it strength or fitness? Either way, we need it. Strength. Yep, that's fine. Pack grocery store, let's do it again, baby! Got two assault rifles this time. Yeah, that's fine, let's go. Sorry to waste your time with a bit of lag, but we're doing it. We'll try that again. I'm fine losing Miley, but I ain't losing Bard. Not after all this. Besides, we can do that better. Actually, real quick, I'm just going to go and use some of these unlock points so that we can still get more. I don't really pay attention, I just kind of buy whatever. Sure. They all got to get bought eventually. So I think one of those ones I bought is one that I actually might swap on Sarah at some point. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, you don't need that extra pistol.
know what? Just go right in guns blazing and be on it. either for a moment. Alright, and start smash. Actually, no, no, go either for now. Use your gun if you gotta. Dumb mistakes. Oh yeah, and I'm tired, so I gotta watch that. Let's loop it around. Grab some of the food while we're at it. Exhausted most of them, so we've got a door to the left, the very bottom there, a door to the top on the left there, a door to the right, and that is it. We grab everything off of the shelves. It looks to be so. All right, let's start with the one on the right then. More food, nice. Oh, don't, don't leave this guy. Alright. Up top, hither. Ooh, another three rooms. Probably two bathrooms and a stock room. Maybe two stock rooms, though. At least one stock room with a whole bunch more food. Stock rooms in the bathroom. Okay. All right, and one last room to check, and we've already doubled our food supply. Probably a bathroom to stop and wow. This has been a very profitable mall. Or not mall, uh Walmart. Get that guy on our way back. I said we'd get you on our way back. Yeah, good, good, good. Go wait out there. No, fine. All right. 
Shoot if you gotta. Nice. Also, that bat is holding out. I totally thought it would break. <coughs> 46 food to a total of 78. That car is going to break down. Hopefully, Jake can fix it. Group checks out what appears to be a traitor settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. Heal your injury. So making things worse and we all get hurt. But our, my medical went up. It's fine, I can heal all of us for the amount of medical we would have given. And we got the skill up for it. Uh, we don't need to bury pick, just go to sleep. That would have given us 16 food and we'd have lost 8, so a profit of 8. But, that's fine, I'd rather not be tired. Who finds an abandoned safe house? There's a little bit of ammo inside. Further searching, some unfinished pipe bombs are in the building. Someone could have to leave. I must have to leave in a hurry. You've got good mechanical, go ahead and finish them. Six pipe bombs. Clear out the inventory. Got this, bro. Yeah. So what did that fix? That just up to the engine a bit, I think. Long stretch of road. Oh hell yeah, we're visiting Trader Camp. No shotgun shells. More strength training. Yeah, I'll spend some food on that. Everybody gets a strength up. Fitness up too would be really nice. Is that it? Oh. You uh, seem to have a problem on the other side. Defensive values. Fair enough. Oh, and then you just have some weapons. Getting a uh, mighty claymore. Or a knight sword, but. You're a gunner, you have your loot, and you already have a mega sword. And I, I, I can't equip it anyways without losing a gun slot, so that's fine. We all got a strength up, that's pretty decent. <clears throat> Wanna give me another crowded Yalmart? I'm down. Oh, Siege, yep. Uh, caught in the open. Forced to fight in the street. Another- all our sieges so far have only been one hour. That's not bad. Oh, we had a 0 0.7, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna take the explosives. We've got the guns. I am gonna take your AK away for now, though. Just take a pistol. <laughs> someone was about to take damage there. That was really close. Wow, 
Barge being extra feisty today. Um, I guess random skill gain. Yeah, I mean medical would be nice. Bard's already almost at max shooting, so we'll take the random skill gain. Uh, Sarah's strength increases. That's huge. Miley's fitness. That's huge. And Bard got shooting up anyways. Boom! You love to see it. Jake got nothing, but that's okay. Jake was already pretty, uh, pretty hype. Oh god. Someone with good loyalty. Wow, okay. Um... Let's hope Jake's got good loyalty. Doesn't even doesn't even mention it. Okay, oh, well, worked out. Mystery factory? Oh heck no. No, that's gonna have some funky stuff in it. I'm not taking the mystery factory. We will take the gym apartment. Then we're gonna be able to get some uh, fitness and strength up. If I recall correctly, the Mystery Factory has a thing that can, like, transform one of your people into something random, and I don't want randomness. I haven't- I mean, I wouldn't mind randomizing Miley, I guess, but I've invested too much into the other three. Um... Yeah, this should be fine. Oh, and just, just melee, please. Destroy the sink. Good for you. It was cloven in twain. I haven't seen the gym part of the gym apartment, but that's fine. Whichever it is, I'm giving it to Sarah. Here we go. Max out. Nice steps. It's fitness, okay. What is our fitness? We're not tired, are we? No. Okay, good. Uh, it's pretty good, so we should be able to do the best one. Light, heavy, or intense? We're taking the intense. Hmm. You always want to make sure... Really? I needed heavy? I got nothing out of that except hurt. That's frustrating. I'm not gonna reload that though. And yeah, now we can't use it again. I guess you do the intense if you're already at max and that puts you above max. Which is possible. It's always hard to tell. Rode on a Pedalton so hard, I nearly killed myself. It's pretty funny. Oh, maybe I'll be lucky and there'll be another one in here. And I can try it. Oh wow. 
That's a lot of bounds. with a bathroom. No That's fine. Oh, I never did go pick up that egg, did I? Damn it. I wasted a summon item. I just remember that. That was from like, what, an hour ago? Also speaking of which, we got like 10 more minutes left in like 7 days. Going a little bit into overtime today, friends. That's fine, I think it's pretty worth. Whoop! We out. Cars can be fixed again soon. Jefferson! Get out of here, Jefferson! bar. It's fun sized. Who gets to eat it? Uh, go ahead, Jake. You have the lowest morale. I could go for a no Henry right now. Okay, pass. Six days left. <sighs> Jake couldn't repair it. Wasted some food. Ah, losing five instead of twenty, that's not bad. I don't know if spotting something by a tree does something. Apparently. Forces uh, an event near sunset. Well, alright, definitely carry a flashlight. Can someone else hold one? No, just Jake. It's a junkyard, right? Yeah. We need to find the keys. They're either out here or in the side. Okay, that dump's just kind of annoying. Come on. 
There you go. Why did I bring flashlights in the morning? stocked for medical for the rest of the, of the run, but I'll still take some money, you never know. Nice bar. Good finisher. food store. Yeah, we'll loot the gross food. Sarah pretends it's junk food instead. Miley does not care. Bard thinks about curry. Burning house? Heck no. You can sometimes find good loot in there, but that's also super dangerous. I ain't, I ain't messing with. Grocery rescue? Sure. Oh, you can only have five shots? Yeah. That's fine. Take the shotgun then. Yeah. Carry my gun for me. I'm going to take some pipe bombs. Which might be a bad idea, but we'll see how it plays out. Switching to explosives, get out of there. I have to look to see uh, how hard it is to set up mods for this game because I, I know there is a multiplayer mod. And back when I was still on the Death Road to Canvas server, uh, I saw people playing and that was like, you know, years ago. Probably back in like 2017, 2019. Maybe I'll do like a, a giveaway at some point. And then I can do multiplayer. Okay, up through here. I didn't see the person yet. It is possible for the people to rescue to die, but the zombies don't tend to target them much or become active until you walk in the room. So it's kind of one of those, they're fine until you reach them, and then once you reach them, you need to get them or they die. I think I got everything on the shelves. Of course, in the last place I checked. Marcel. Huh? 
All right, we are good to go. Well executed. Uh, group fitness training. Do it. Bard and Jake's are maxed. Mine is almost maxed. Miley's is better than it was before. Uh, ah. Group spots a group of bandits that have set up a checkpoint on the road. Someone from the team could be sent to distract the bandits to target who is loyal. Putting you in check again, Jake. That's decent. Doesn't sell everyone out to the bandits. Distracts them from afar and runs. They give chase and the car is able to get past. Well, that's better than what anyone else visibly has, so we'll take it. Yeah, rather than getting hurt this time and possibly getting fitness, just hotwire the thing. Jake jumps into a golf ball collector and starts running over zombies. It's surprisingly effective. By the time the collector breaks down, most of the zombies are taken care of. Yay! Starting to run lowish on gas. Sorry, Meryl. I've already got a mechanic. And he has a sword. Bard really feels that she has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there's no sneeze. This may turn into one of those times a sneeze is lost. Combined with the pressures of a zompocalypse, this could break Bard's morale. Snort spicy food, cost two food, smash self on nose, oh god. Go ahead and take the spicy food. She takes a big sniff, sneezes into the bag. She may as well eat the entire bag of chips now. Enjoy. Untouched grocery store done. Done. Swarm size nearly solid. The outbreak in this crowded grocery store happened so fast that the panic crowd turned into zombies before the place could be looted. Many of the groceries are still on the shelf. Take a big risk. Worth. Absolutely worth. Okay. Same strat. Jesus. <laughs> tries here but we're we're gonna get it come on we are not passing by the untouched grocery store It's alone. Timeline reset intensifies. Yeah, I mean, it's only been like, what? Five timelines? Four? Four or five timelines that have been erased from existence. We're 
We're so close to, what is it, four more days? Five more days. This would set us late afternoon. That's not as great. I think if I do this, I can save the explosives without him using them. So then I can just take the gun. That should hopefully be okay. God, no, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Alright, looks like we're having a big fight out here first. Get away from the big explosive, please. Back my gun. Oh, my God, it's fine. I'm out. All right, best we can kind of hope for is to loop a bunch of them here. I don't know if we have enough raw firepower to get through here, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully we cleared out uh, some that are inside too. Not bad, not bad. We can at least breathe for a second. Focus on looting in a sec. Not get caught here. Oh my god, there's so freaking many. No bird! Get your ass over here! Oh, okay, good. Oh my god, look how full the shelves are! Get your ass up here, Bard. Get your ass up here. No! Stop going over there. Holy crap, that was dumb. I think, uh, Miley got hit a lot. Okay, Miley got hit more than Bard. That's good. I care about her less. I think we're all out of ammo. No, okay, they've still got some ammo. <coughs> I'm about to be out of ammo, though. Got waste of that last shot. All right. We've cleared out a whole bunch of them, though. If we're careful, we do properly. Let's pull them in this place. All right, start grabbing shit. Hopefully we can get out of here before it gets too dark. Otherwise, I do not think we're going to be able to push through that crowd. Hopefully we can get some rifle ammo too, so I can help just push a bit of a path. We're going to need it. Yeah, 
That's all the food that's in the main area. I alone have 48, and I know the others picked up at least a little bit. That's not great. That was kind of dumb, too. And the room didn't even have anything in it. Wasn't this a rescue? No, it's just an untouched grocery store. Yeah, it's gonna be dark in a sec, which means we're gonna have to try and push our way out of here in the dark. We didn't bring a flashlight with us. Oh, a toilet genie would have been so clutch there. I'm not even worried about that guy we're going. Out, 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 out. Is that the last room? No rifle ammo. One more room. Bathroom, you know what? No! Oh, we had that! It's fine, we can do it again. That's fine. Did my mic get unplugged? No, no. I think the audio is there. Yeah, okay, the... Why is the game audio not there? <sighs> All right, that's fine. Close it again. Try again. There we go. Ain't giving up on this. I think everybody's equipment's fine, yeah. Just go! Oh, and it's 5 p.m. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Jake, take a flashlight. We're gonna need it. Threw two there and I didn't mean to. Okay, that turned out all right. We kind of wasted one though, but that's fine. Oh my gun. Okay. The chaos indeed. Oh, 
that was a waste. Alright, we're gonna have to do another loot. Board is simply too massive to slip through yet. God, I can only imagine how insane it's gonna be when, uh, trying to cross the border into Canada. Shoot, it's kept coming out. Okay, good. Why am I over here? Oh, shoot. Okay, this isn't great. Okay. This is... Okay, this is especially not great. And Miley's dead. Honestly? Maybe it's okay that we end this here. It's a worthwhile struggle. But, uh... can always be a win. And it's kind of hilarious to lose to Stubborn Green. Rush in there, you dumbass! Alright, Jake, you and me. We got this, buddy. Actually, to be honest, we almost kind of do. God, we actually. Yeah, no, that's fine. Too many resets. I'm taking it here. Jake's the last one alive, and he's going down swinging. Sarah! Ugh. Okay, just actually take me. Alright, well, this is where we are going to leave off our Spooktober stream. I could keep trying, but we'd be at it for another, like, hour, hour and a half. And I gotta go take insulin and eat dinner. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely would like to play some more DRT2C eventually. Like I say, it would probably make some good intermission streams and the longer stuff. Happy Halloween, Ruffer. Happy Halloween to everybody. I hope your night is a safe, happy, and healthy one with lots of candy and happy spoons. Next stream, we will be starting Zelda Month, which is Skyward Sword. I'm really looking forward to that. Alright. Have a good night, everybody.